Hey everybody, it's Nick Dolman here, and I just discovered something while reading Microsoft Docs. Now, I no longer work for Microsoft or in the Docs area, so I'm not privy to all the new stuff that's happening, but I did come across this, and this is really exciting. It is the Power Pages Dev Tools extension. Now, what I took a read through and what this allows you to do, it's a developer tool that allows you to help debug a website, Power Pages site specifically. Now, if you've worked in Liquid, you do realize that Liquid is kind of hard to debug sometimes, or if you're kind of running into other issues, debugging Power Pages websites, there are diagnostic tools and logs, but this yet adds another tool. So basically just reading through here, it gives you in docs, it's a great description of what it does. And then you can install the DevTools extension for Power Pages. Now, this is running on Microsoft Edge. I'm more of a Chrome user myself, but I do use Edge for certain things. So let's just click on this. Hopefully, maybe someday there'll be um, an extension for Chrome as well. Request Microsoft. Anyways, we're here. We go to this page into the developer tools. It is free. doesn't cost you anything extra. Let's just hit this, get this. And then we want to add that extension. And of course, it's giving you the warning. It's going to be able to read from your Power Pages sites. It's going to do the install installation, the download, and it's been added to Microsoft Edge. That's great. And so we can actually go in and you know modify, look at our extensions here. So here is the Microsoft Power Pages. I'm going to turn on visibility to that, and it's going to now appear up here, but that's not exactly where we'll use it. So let's just take a look at a few other things. So I'm in my Power Pages Design Studio. Um, of course, all the regular stuff is here. Now, the tool itself is automatically turned on if you have your site in your visibility, your site visibility turned to private. So this will be there automatically. You don't need to do anything if you're developing and building your site, which you should be doing in private mode anyway. But that's just so you know, that's turned on automatically. However, if you're working in a live site trying to debug something, you can turn on a site setting. So if you go into the Power Pages management app, which of course is the model driven app where you can define a lot of your settings, you'll actually go into site settings and user trace debug is turned on and you just add that site setting user trace slash debug. Again, this is in the docs, you set that to true. I'll put a bit of a description here. From my understanding, this works both an enhanced and standard data model. I, don't quote me on that, but I believe it's for both. So we have that turned on. So now let's take a look at what this does and how we can use this tool on our Power Pages sites. So I'm back here on my Power Pages site. I This is straight up Power Pages uh, website created for demos and such. I basically now going to hit F12 and this is going to launch the browser developer tools. If you've not used the browser developer tools before, this gives you a whole whack of things, what's going on in the background. Typically, if you're writing JavaScript, you use the console log command that will write into your console log so you can see what's going on with your JavaScript. This is both for Dynamics 365, model-driven power apps and power pages as well. Um, but here, we now have this new tab called power pages. So I'll click on this and it's gonna give me some messages about the site. So I'm gonna go here into, um, basically my list of sessions and immediately I'm getting some server errors coming up. Now this says here the message, the user lacks permission, read permissions due to restrictions on the website. Um, that's not exactly accurate. Um, it says, please grant the user access to the web page. I know that because I'm in as an unauthenticated user, there is some data restrictions here. So this is in preview. So some of these messages are maybe a little misleading, but at least it's giving you a little bit something to work with. Now, if I go into here and I want to click on something like update via the web API, I'm immediately getting a whole bunch of other messages like entity contact with ID doesn't exist, um, session ID doesn't exist. So I am beginning to get some more error messages that I can drill down into. And look, this is much better than before because sometimes to debug some of these messages was a little bit harder, but now I can actually begin to see. So I'm getting a little bit better information. Now, something else I read in the documentation is that Liquid allows you to do some logging and console messages as well. So let's take a look at that. Now, a lot of times if I'm writing JavaScript code, um, probably a lot of you who write JavaScript as well, will use the console log statement. And this will actually write the error messages or information to the console log and the dev tools. Kind of, you could also use alerts, but the alerts really not a good practice because this also what the user sees, the console log is something that you can open up developer tools and see. Again, another bigger conversation, but this is something that JavaScript developers, we've been using for a long time. 
we can actually now using the new DevTools extension, we can use basically write console log messages in Liquid. That's really cool. So let's take a look at that. So here's a bit of HTML code. And again, this is a bit of a pro code approach, but again, this is Liquid. So if you've worked with Power Pages extending, you probably run into Liquid. Um, basic first stuff, I got this message log message, uh, log from contact page. And let me actually pop back to the documentation for a minute. It's telling me that I can um, basically from the docs, it talks about the, the logging. So we can take a look at the available liquid objects here in docs. It does lay this out very cleanly, telling me to use this log message and I can do a custom message with a level of warning. And that's going to write again to that Power Pages dev extension. Um, it actually comes with some sample code, which I've pasted into Visual Studio and created this on a web page. So here I've added this, the log message, and then we're going through a fetch. We're just capturing all the contact records and then basically going through, displaying them on a web page and then writing that again to the console log as a message. So here I'm capturing the message and then I'm logging that. So for debugging, this really, really helps if we're trying to figure out how to do things in Liquid. So let's actually take a look at the page itself and the code. So I'm gonna go into the design studio, I'm gonna go into this contact list, and basically it's not the most prettiest thing in the world, as you can see. You guys know me, I'm not a designer. Um, I'm getting better. We can take a look at this on our website, and here's the contact list. And again, if I'm looking at this, I'm not signed in um, because I don't have permissions, but I'm seeing here the user lacks read permission due to restrictions on the web page. We do see that log from a contact here coming um, from the lit code as well. Now I'm going to sign in and I'm just going to use Azure AD for now. Of course, it's taking me to the profile page. And again, it's giving me maybe a few more messages here going back to the contact list page. And now we're actually seeing the liquid logging um, through here. So again, if I'm trying to diagnose something, I can actually see those log messages. Now, why is this important? Because Liquid doesn't render on the browser itself. So if I take a look at the source code here, if I was just to go view source, um, nowhere am I going to find Liquid code in any of this. It's very much like we talked about um, PowerFX last week. We're not gonna see any of that here. It's just HTML code. So um, this is where the diagnostic tools that are part of now the dev tools that you can install on the Edge browser. Hopefully, I think for me, this is really gonna speed things up in terms of diagnosing or debugging some of my liquid code. Hope that helps you out as well. Again, great work to the Microsoft Power Pages team. Um, you folks are building some amazing, amazing stuff and keep it coming.